An Iowa reverend with United Methodist Church has their job on the line today, and it's all because of sexual preference. Dozens of people gathered this morning at the United Methodist Iowa Conference over on the south side of Des Moines in an effort to support Reverend Anna Bladell. They are openly gay, and after complaints against the reverend, the church held a hearing today. They say the Methodist Book of Discipline prohibits the practice of homosexuality. All of our faith and religious and spiritual communities have a particular responsibility to not only preach and proclaim, but to do the work of healing and of transformation. Reverend Bladell, who currently practices in Iowa City, says they don't know what is next and has yet to get a definitive answer from the church. The, the language of the Book of Discipline is that the practice of homosexuality is incompatible with Christian teaching. I hate to even say that language mm -hmm. in quotes because it is harmful language, right? Mm -hmm. um, we are known, and I think becoming increasingly known, uh, for being a religious and spiritual community that is not only open to LGBTQ people, but that's uh, intentionally affirming of and welcoming of and going to advocate for LGBTQ people. An Iowa City pastor that has spent the last three years clashing with the United Methodist Church over its views of homosexuality is now taking a leave of absence from the church as part of a settlement. Reverend Anna Bladel and the Iowa Conference announced that resolution yesterday after three complaints in three years against Bladel, who came out to the church in 2016. We talked to Bladel in May of 2017 in the midst of a fight of, against one of those complaints for performing a same-sex wedding. The United Methodist Church denounces homosexuality in their book of discipline under what's known as the incompatibility clause. It says that the practice of homosexuality is incompatible with Christian teaching. I believe that clause is in and of itself incompatible with Christian teaching. Reverend Bladel was a minister at the University of Iowa Wesley Center until resigning in May. In this statement in the Iowa Conference Resolution, Bladel says, quote, I know I need to extricate myself from a nomination and conference that are increasingly toxic, traumatic, and abusive. I do not have what I need to faithfully and healthily continue my participation in it. Any relationship with the living God that I am in is going to be a queer relationship, and there is no way that I can imagine um, confronting the divine and being in relationship with the divine if that divine uh, source and being is not queer. Long before I had any sense of the language of queerness or even any kind of introduction to queer theory, I encountered within scriptures a God who was always becoming and coming to humans in queer ways, in ways that were strange and unpredictable, ways that defied expectations, ways that broke the rules. Um, so how could God not be queer? And why would we want to be in relationship with a God who wasn't queer? 